thank you once again for tuning in to my channel today we are going to be making cinnamon buns the kenyan edition so on my table here i've got my bowl okay i've got my water about 200 ml just a little water lukewarm of course yeah 200 ml i have got eggs uh i've got two eggs so uh just before i continue guys uh, i'd like to tell, let you know that you can use milk you can substitute the water for the milk uh i have some flour i have some instant yeast some salt uh about a quarter cup of uh, margarine and i've got my rolling pin there that has seen better days <laughs> i've got my spoon there uh, my whisk i always end up not using my whisk and then i've got my spatula so those are the things that you shall require as you begin to prepare your cinnamon buns i've got three cups of flour by the way uh, those are th three cups of flour and then i've got my cinnamon uh, there that's about two tablespoons not too much and of course my my margarine you can use butter uh, and then i've got my well my whisk there and my spatula uh, i don't know i just i i noticed that i gravitate towards blue so uh, if you see anything else that looks a little bit uh, a different color just know that huh? on that particular day i had no choice so in my bowl there we shall add the lukewarm water the 200 ml lukewarm water and my yeast uh, my yeast is about uh, that those are two actually a teaspoon a teaspoon of 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 instant yeast then of course like uh, two tablespoons of sugar and then i'll beat my egg into the mixture so remember that i'm using uh, instant yeast and instant yeast does not the proof time for instant yeast is not as bad as uh, the other kind of yeast where you have to proof that fast and then begin to work on it then i'll put in my quarter cup of margarine remember you can use butter you can use butter or you can use just even coconut oil i think would be ideal for those that are watching their meat drips okay so what i wanted to do was just mix all that all in uh, the buns that I normally make come out really, really, really well. They're really nice. So you just, uh, my yolk there refused completely to break. Uh, good stuff. And then I'll add my flour little by little. So remember those are uh, three cups of loosely packed flour and then you shall mix that so the egg had refused to mix before but when once i do this once i add this it becomes much better uh, you can use a wooden spoon but i i love to use a spatula because it ensures that it scrapes the sides clean ensures that it scraps so you'll just continue adding your flour until it makes a thick uh uh, it becomes a thick consistency so i love that okay so uh eventually i ended up i mixed that so for the second part of this video we shall just require brown sugar uh, and uh, uh, two tablespoons of cinnamon my rolling pin there and uh, a spoon for just in case oh sorry not just in case but because we'll use that and then i um, remember guys i'm using margarine so if you don't have butter you can use margarine and then i've got some oil i'll show you where i will use the oil 
So remember when we are making uh, the cinnamon buns, they don't have. Oh, and then I have my thin, thin thread. Normally, I'll buy thread for, because I do a lot of cinnamon rolls for other people on order. I just have uh, my special, I think thread cuts uh, makes really super sharp cuts onto on the on the cinnamon roll so i do not prefer to use a knife so you can use a knife and then we've got uh huh. then what you're going to do you'll roll that dough remember we are using instant yeast which means that i'll proof my dough later i'll proof my dough later after i've shaped it into the different kinds of um into the different kinds of into the uh, sorry into the cinnamon rolls so after i cut it into rolls i'll proof that in a pan in a baking pan so that's how thick it will be so this one can uh, in your family you can actually try this so i realized i needed to continue uh just rolling that until you feel it's wide enough although the, we should make sure that uh, the thickness of the dough should be about half an inch like i'll show you yeah so that's the thickness that we, we need we require i like when it makes a uh, very many uh when it when you roll that and then it has very many layers i like it like that so you'll take your margarine and then you'll spread that generously onto your dough, onto your rolled dough. Ensure that every part of that uh, uh, dough, of the rolled, rolled up dough, uh, gets the margarine. Because uh, if it doesn't, remember the margarine works like a binder for the, for the cinnamon and sugar. So I'll show you in a minute. So imagine this is a snack that you can make for your family in a very, very short time. You'll not get stressed when you're doing this. This is so interesting. Uh, the kids love it. My son loves my cinnamon rolls. And so uh, instead of doing bread, the price of bread has gone up. So you, after you've spread your margarine, what you need to do is mix your sugar as well as the cinnamon together. So this is where my spoon that you saw will come in. So we are mixing sugar and sugar as well as cinnamon together there. We are mixing that. So continue doing that. Continue mixing that up. Mm -hmm. So if you feel it's not enough, and then you're going to pour that generously. Uh, ensure that you cover all the spaces where you had spread your margarine or your, or your butter. So I use the option of margarine because I think uh, margarine is most, it's available. Where I am, it's uh, most available. So I prefer to use margarine. Although when you do it with butter, it really produces some really, really nice, uh, some really nice cinnamon rolls. So that's how you'll spread the sugar. So just like that. So ensure that every space of that gets some sugar and then you will lift the end of that and you will roll. Hence where it gets its, um, its name from, cinnamon rolls. So I tried to do uh, this particular particular uh roll i tried to use ginger and uh, i didn't like the result although you can mix a bit of your cinnamon roll with a bit of ginger i think it uh, the ginger really uh, makes the cinnamon a little bit mild if you're not into cinnamon so that's the kind of roll we are talking about so long and straight it's a long and straight uh thing like that 
and then I'll show you where we shall use our string. Remember, I told you I don't. Uh, normally, I don't measure my my rods because I'm so used to doing this. So mostly, I'll get the two the two ends, and that's uh, in case I have an order for say cinnamon rolls, the two ends I give to my son because they normally come out not very very nice. So that's what you do with the string. I think I like the string because it makes a very nice precise cut. Look at that. So that end, uh, that cinnamon roll at the end there, that one I normally keep it for my son and I so that we can taste what we are taking out. So that's the second roll. I You can make small ones or you can make them thick. Mine are really going to be thick. They're going to be big big and thick so if you have your family ensure that you make this for them for breakfast i know we rolled it out with sugar but do you know this snack uh, is not very sugary because if you remember when we were doing the bread dough the bread dough was i just put in two tablespoons of sugar and then there's this myth that people say that um, yeast and salt cannot work together. They do work together. So never think that they don't work together. So you'll continue to cut those like that. So out of this, I think I got 12 pieces. 12 pieces. So you can get more than that depending on how thick you want your, your rolls. Uh, if you're doing this for someone, say an order, you can use, uh, I always have, I have a, a, a ruler in my kitchen that I bought specifically for measuring, the, because you don't want to to take uh, things to people and then some are so big and some are super, super tiny. So if you look at this one at the end there, uh, so those ends are what, what I'm saying I normally give my son because they don't come out really even. They don't look the same. So if you are doing an order, I'd advise you to do a ruler because it will be more precise. The rolls uh, will look better. So for the third part, I have my, my pan, my pan there. So I tried, I normally line uh, my my pan with parchment paper but I just wanted to see what will happen this time because remember once you put this in the oven and uh, they've puffed up what happens is that the sugar once the heat hits the 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 the, the bread the bread dough plus the cinnamon and sugar what happens is that the sugar melts to the bottom of the of the roll and I think I like it like that. So that's what you are talking about. So after you're done with this part, guys, you shall cover this uh, with a cloth or with clean. I, I would advise with a cloth because the cloth gives more time. So uh, you leave that for an hour and this is the result. So these ones, if you look at the ones that I had before and these ones, these ones have really puffed up. They've puffed up. They look really thick and nice. And when they bake in the oven, they'll retain exactly the same uh, size. So remember, if you're doing this for maybe someone's orders, remember to, to use a ruler to measure out your rolls. Make sure that they look as even as possible. And again, it gives you a more professional look. So put this in the oven for... 25 minutes or 20 minutes depending on uh, at 180 degrees so this is the 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 look that i achieved so most people will uh, use a glaze on top of their cinnamon rolls but i felt they're just good like that what i did is that i did an egg wash at the top to give that final shiny look on top and then finally, for our final result, you can have this with a cup of coffee, my favorite. So you can use this as a snack. I needed to show you how that looks inside. Look at that. 
that looks really good you see so it's even coming off because of the way so those are the roles that were achieved that is how my final product looks like and one of these guys and i assure you it's soft it's really soft to touch it's really tasty it's really nice and then you have that with your cup of coffee with your cup of coffee. <laughs> so thank you um, for you watching. Know, cinnamon and, and coffee just hits really well.